Welcome to WMAR 2 News at 11. I'm Mallory Safoste. That boom is the sound of a home exploding in Harford County early this morning. The homeowner and a BGE contractor were killed, and all that's left of the home now is the foundation. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright heard from neighbors who are processing the loss. Crews are fencing in what remains of this home here in Harford County. The house exploded early Sunday morning and officials say two people died, one of them the homeowner. Around 640 Sunday morning, a home on the 2300 block of Arthur Woods Drive exploded, sending a shock throughout the neighborhood. You know, I kind of thought it was an earthquake. We're all outside and obviously, you know, the flames um, walked down and the house was just demolished. Fire and EMS officials arrived on the scene shortly after and began putting out the remaining flames. Although they have not released the official cause of the explosion, officials say there may have been a gas leak. Uh, we believe that there was a gas leak, so that's one of the things we're looking at. So we're working with BG on that. So we're also looking to see if actually the explosion occurred on the inside of the home or on the outside of the home. The explosion was so big it caused damage to a number of homes, including the home of Sandy Dickerson, who lives nearby. The entire casement of the door, this door and my basement basement door, the windows blew open. Um, yeah, the doors were open, the cabinet doors were open in the house. The door, it, it's crazy. Yeah, it broke the windows, blew them completely in. It was insane. State officials also said two people have been found dead after the explosion. One, a 35 year old man who worked for bg &E, the other, a 73 year old man who officials say was the owner of the home. Both the name and the cause of death will have to be released by the office of the chief medical examiner. Sam Lachera, who lives in the neighborhood, says the owner of the home was his friend. He says the 73 year old had just put his home on the market to sell, was planning to move in with his sister who lives in Bully's quarters. 73. Uh, some serious health issues in a wheelchair almost all the time. I don't want to take anything for myself, but do a lot to caregiving for him, his needs and various things each day and spend time with him as a friend, but very close friend. He and other neighbors are now mourning the loss of the two men. It's just a sad day. It's a very, very sad day. A total of 12 families were also displaced from their homes because of the explosion. State officials say they're working with ATF to determine the cause of the explosion, but the investigation is going to take some time. In Harford County, Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.